Hi everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company and I've got such a fun project for you today. Take a look at this quilt behind me. Isn't this gorgeous? Now this was shown as a Jenny's Journal quilt and here it is. And this is, was my old antique top that I actually quilted and I showed in Jenny's Journal, which is part of Block Magazine. And everybody wanted a pattern and this was an old antique. So when this line of 30s came out, we made it just like this one. I bet you can hardly tell the difference. So we're calling this quilt Spooling Around, and that name actually came from somebody on the All Stars Facebook page, and I loved it when she said it, and we kept it. So to make our Spooling Around quilt, you're gonna need one package of 10 inch squares, and we have used Aunt Grace so Charming by Judy Rothermel for Marcus Fabrics. You're gonna need one package of print squares for that. You're gonna need, your background is two and three quarter yards of a background fabric that includes your inner border. You could also use a roll of two and a half inch strips. Your outer border is one and a quarter yards. Your backing is four and three quarters. And you know if there's a stripe in the fabric line, I'm gonna use it on that binding. So for the binding, you're gonna need three quarters of a yard. So this is the little block we're talking about right here, our little tiny spool block, and it just replicates our, um, our antique block perfectly. Now obviously you could make this with two and a half inch strips because these are all cut in two and a halves, but I had a layer cake, so I want to show you how to do it with a layer cake. And so what I'm going to do is, you can cut several of these one time because it's all the same cuts for your, um, for your blocks, and out of each single layer cake square, you're going to get two spools. And so I'm gonna lay some different colors up here because I like to, once I get my spools done, I sewed them right together in four patches like this and that's the big block for our quilt. So I've got a red, let's see, I've got a white, I've got a purple, let's go with something yellowy down here. All right, so the cutting on this, this is how I got the most out of my little uh, layer cake. And what I did first was, you wanna make sure they're lined up really straight and, um, and then I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna make a six and a half inch cut first. So I lay my ruler along the edge, that's five. I go over one and a half inches. That's six and a half inches right there. And I have four pieces stacked up. So I'm literally cutting eight blocks right now. And so I'm just gonna cut this off right here. And then I'm gonna turn this and this is all gonna be put into two and a half inch strips. So we'll get four of those out of this piece. So here's one. Got two. And three. And four. All right, so set those aside up there. Then we need our little centers. And since I know I'm getting two blocks out of each squares, I need two two and a half inch squares. So I'm gonna cut this five inches across like this. And then I'm going to cut this down to two and a half inches, like this, and cut it across two and a half inches to make my two center squares of my spool. All right, so here's my two little center spools. This is my waist, because this, my friends, is a surprise for later. So make sure you put all of those in a stack um, and put them over there, and I'll show you how to make the spool. So you're gonna cut some two and a half inch squares. You're gonna need six of those for each block that we made. Two of them are gonna go on either side of this right here, and that's gonna be the center of your block. And you can see right here, if you look very closely, that's the edge of my selvage. Now I don't want that to show in my quilt, but I know that it's less than a quarter of an inch, so I am not gonna waste that block. I'm gonna put it on here, and I'm gonna make sure that my quarter of an inch catches that in the seam, and I don't waste that. So we're gonna go ahead and sew this middle row together. And I'm just gonna put my, lay my block on the quarter of an inch. And then I'm just gonna open this up because you put two background blocks on either side of that center block. Now for the outside edges of our spool, we're gonna take two of these like this. And this is gonna make our spool, and here's our middle, and what we wanna do with these squares is we wanna put them on the sides like this. 
and we want to sew into the middle so that it makes the spool that looks like this, so that that fabric comes in there and makes that spool. So I'm going to take my two pieces here with my two little squares on the edges and I'm going to put them on here and I'm just going to remember that I'm going to start sewing from the outer corner to the inner corner and you want to do these both the same. We're going to flip them and put one on the top and one on the bottom and so if you do them the same then it will enable us to flip. So line your edges up and you can draw the line on here if you want. I'm going to follow my diagonal seam tape and I'm just going to start a few stitches here and I know I'm sewing right to the middle. And then I'm going to come and sew from the middle to the outside on this side. Just like this. All right, and this one is the same. So line them up so you know which way you're starting. So we're going to put this one and sew right from the outs outer corner into the middle. And then this one over here, go from the middle to the outer corner. All right. So now I'm going to cut these edges off and we are going to press this open. Just like this. Come over here to the iron. And I'm just going to roll these back, these side pieces, and do the same to the other side. And then this one over here. And then here's our center piece, and I'm going to make my seams go toward the middle. So I'm going to press this one like this, and then I'm going to bring this one around and just lay them so they lay to the middle. And then what we're going to do here now is that we are going to lay these on either side just like this. And when you lay them together like this, they should go, you should see the whites on the edge because we're going to sew that in a quarter of an inch and it's going to tighten it up and make it look like a spool. It's all going to line up. Now, sometimes when you do the corner, the flip corner like that, sometimes it gets a little wonky. And if you want to ever, if you ever feel like your strip is not quite straight, you can lay your little ruler on it like this and make sure and see how, you know, if it needs to be trimmed any, any place at all. Mine seems to be okay on this one, but I did have some where it just got a little wonky on me and so I just straightened it up a little bit and sewed it across. So I'm going to go ahead and sew this on. Let's see here. And then I'm going to open it up and see how that looks. And it looks pretty good. Again, on this side, they should you should line up edge to edge and be able to just sew this across. All right, let's see how we did now. I just think this quilt is so darling, and I'm so glad that all of you loved it enough to ask for it. You know, I often buy antique quilts with the hope of making a tutorial out of it because it's really fun. All right, look at our little spool. How cute is that? Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to make all of them, and we're going to put them together in a four patch. So I have some made here, and this is something you want to look at. So when you start, see how mine are right here? This one goes over, and this one is up and down. You want to make sure all your blocks are the same, and they start out that way. Otherwise, you'll have some straights together and some not, and so I just tell you the things that I know were something I had to think about. All right, so we are going across and up and down, and this one is up and down, and this one is across. Now these have the same pattern, but different colors, and I have to decide if that bothers me or if that's okay with me, and I think I might just put this one up here, so this one will be straight, and this one will be across like that. I think it actually gives it a better weight of deeper fabrics and softer fabrics as well. So I'm gonna now sew this four patch together. And you can put these together in rows of blocks, but it goes together really easy in a four patch. And I think it's, for me, it's way easier to sew, you know, a bigger block in than it is to uh, mess with all the little tiny blocks. All right, so then this one here, we want to make sure that I'm still the right way. I can't tell you 
I did have to take a few of these apart because I got one going the wrong direction because, you know, you get in a flow and you're sewing them together and sewing them together and all of a sudden you're like, uh, wait a minute, something doesn't look right. And so for me, I check that off. Okay. So now we're going to sew these together. The only seam we're really worrying about is the middle seam. You can actually feel these two um, outer where the two um, miters come together. You can feel that nest and that's fine. And then, uh, but the only other next match is the center. So we just want to watch that. All right. Now let's iron this open and see how we did. There we go. Looks pretty good. All right, we're going to press this nice and flat, and I will show you how it fits into the quilt. All right, so here we are at the quilt, and this is how it goes in the corner right here. Each one of these four patches goes in here. Now, if I lined this up and there was two, like say I had two right next to each other, then I can just turn it. So I don't love this, this. So if I turn it, nope, don't love that. Turn it too close still, put it over here and it's totally okay. So you have four options every time you set a block together. And so we've got one, two, three, four of these, and one, two, three, four, five down. So 20 blocks, 24 patch blocks, 20 times four is 80 blocks total. So that's a lot of little blocks on here and it makes a darling quilt. So out of one layer cake, you'll get a quilt that is 63 by 75. So we add a little two and a half inch inner border and a nice big six inch outer border but here's what I want to tell you about. Here's my backing, but keep looking. Look at all those little pieces. I sewed them together in two long rows and put this fun row of stitching right down the middle of the back of my quilt. I just didn't want to waste them and I just thought it added some fun and surprise on the back. I like it when you do that. So that's all of these little pieces here that we cut off our extra piece. I just sewed two, 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 four, four, four and made long chains of them cut my fabric right in half and sewed these right down the center of the back of my quilt. And it just makes a fun little surprise, plus no waste, right? So because this is a quilt of spools, the quilting pattern we chose is spools of thread and it's just adorable. Anyway, I've loved doing this tutorial. I was so thrilled that you guys loved this antique one and, uh, and I was so thrilled that we could remake it in such a great you know, great look alike. I think even the background looks identical. So take a look at this. Have you lost me in here? Am I blending? Anyway, we hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the Spoolin' Around Quilt from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. Hi everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you aren't already part of the Missouri Star Quilt Company family, be sure to subscribe so you won't miss a thing. And if you click that bell, it'll notify you every time a new tutorial comes out. See you next Friday.